Would you join me in prayer? Almighty God, my Almighty God, we uh, we just come before you today because we do love you so much. We can sing of your love forever, um, love that we are so unworthy of, love and grace and mercy that you pour upon us, even though we don't deserve it. Um, so why wouldn't we sing of it forever? Lord, uh, we come to you today and we bring to you our frustrations, um, our our anger, our concerns, our worries. And I know at this time as restrictions are starting to tighten again, um, Lord, those frustrations will just be growing. And, and Lord, I just pray that you would help us to be the people that you have called us to be at this time. I pray that you would help us to be the church. The church is not the building that we meet in. The church is us. And so, Lord, I pray that you would use us as your church in our community. I pray that you would help us, that you would uh, give us the strength and the courage that we need to be your people in our community, Lord. I pray that you would guide us, you would give us wisdom as we speak and act in our everyday lives. And, Lord, particularly in the public space, I ask that we would be just representatives for you, that we would reflect your light and your love and your grace and your mercy and your compassion to those around us. Lord, there is so much negativity in the world at the moment. I pray that you would give, you would be, um, you would use us as vessels for positivity, that you would help us to partner with you, to join uh, and to draw others to you, to draw others to the kingdom, your kingdom, Lord. Again, Lord, we are so grateful for your love. We love you because you loved us first. You loved us first without us doing anything. And, um, Lord, I pray for each of each person watching today that you um, you would just you would just really fill them with your love today that you would make your presence uh, just really um, really known to them right now and that even though they may be sitting watching this alone that that they know that you they are in your presence Lord be with us each Protect us, guide us, we pray in your name. Amen. The scripture reading this morning is taken from John chapter 15, verses 9 to 16. Uh, it's a well-known passage, one that we've heard so many times, but if you do have your Bible close by, I encourage you to grab it. Even if it's not close by, hit the pause button, grab your Bible and turn to John chapter 15 verses 9 to 16 with me follow along with us and refer back to it as Angela brings the word shortly I love each of you with the same love the father loves me you must continually let my love nourish your hearts if you keep my commands you will live in my love just as I have kept my father's commands, for I continually live nourished and empowered by his love. My purpose for telling you these things is so that the joy that I experience will fill your hearts to overflowing gladness. So this is my command. Love each other deeply as much as I have loved you. For the greatest love of all is a love that sacrifices all and this great love is demonstrated when a person sacrifices his life for his friends you show that you are my intimate friends when you obey all that I command you I have never called you servants because a master does not confide in his servants and servants don't always understand what a master is doing. But I call you my most intimate friends for I reveal to you everything that I have heard from my father. You didn't choose me, but I have chosen and commissioned you to go into the world 
to bear fruit. And your fruit will last because whatever you ask of my Father for my sake, he will give it to you. May God add his blessing and his understanding to our reading today.